Hello everyone, my name is British Vlogger 7 and today I'm recording a Q&A video. About three weeks ago I put a post up on Instagram uh, saying, asking you guys for some questions for a Q&A that you might want to know about me. Uh, some various questions here and there, I got quite a few. About I think I got about eight or nine or something like that. Uh, but anyway, let's get on with questions, shall we? Also, I'm in my conservatory at the moment, filming this video right now. Jake Simpkin asks, who is your favourite YouTuber? Now, I have about, I watch uh, lots of YouTubers, like loads and loads, so I'll narrow it down to my top five. So my first favourite YouTuber is Jack Jacksepticeye. Um, he is an awesome YouTuber, I like watching his gaming videos, I like how much energy he has at the start of every video. And I like him because he's like an honest person uh, towards his subscribers, and that's what I like about him. My next favourite YouTuber is Techrax. The reason for this is because how the unique, of how unique his videos are. Like uh, I know he repeats the same. Um, what's the word? He repeats the same style uh, all the time, but uh, the style trait kind of has its twists and turns of his content. What I mean is, even though he's got like. Even though he's known as the destroying the iPhones guy, uh, he comes up with various creative ways to destroy his iPhones, which uh, quite, uh, quite pretty good, you know. Um, I like the one where uh, he taped all of those iPhones to a glass ball and then dropped them off of like a top of a car park, like a multi-story car park. Uh, that, that one was just insane. Uh, I think you guys should check out his channel. Um, he probably doesn't need a shout out but check it out anyway because the the things he comes up with on his videos are absolutely mad. My third favourite YouTuber is Mars Bar. He is a vlogger if you don't know who he is. Um, he's known for the insane triple monitor setup with ultra wides and stuff like that. Um, he's a good vlogger, I really like him. I like the style of his videos, he's actually the reason why I started doing this YouTube thing uh, because I, I really wanted to be a good vlogger and be confident uh, with holding a camera out in front of me and talking to it uh, which I think I've kind of got the gist of almost right now uh, but I think he's a really good YouTuber and you guys should check him out and he's my favorite, one of my favourite YouTubers as well. The fourth favourite YouTuber is Scarce because I like to tune every day into his, uh, I like to tune into his videos every day because he does like news videos, like, like daily news videos, most of the time anyway. Uh, sometimes he'll skip days which is fine. Every, every YouTuber can do that if they want to, I ain't complaining. Yeah, I really like watching uh, his YouTube videos, I like how he structures them and how he hides them up uh, and stuff like that. I really like how he, like, you know, I just really like his videos when he make, reports all the news going around the internet. My fifth favourite YouTuber is Morton Rustad. He's got about 30,000 subscribers around that area, uh, give or take a bit more or less. <coughs> But uh, his videos are absolutely awesome. His time lap uh, his main videos are like time lapses and stuff. He does like he's, he's like the time lapse king basically. He has all of this equipment so he can do like sliding time lapse and sliding uh, panning time lapses over time at night. And he's from Norway and he, he's done most of his time lapses in Norway and he does them in 8K because I think YouTube has the 8K format now. Uh, on <laughs> he uploads and. 8K, you must have a, a good computer to render that. I mean, seriously. Uh, but also, you've got to have good internet to upload that. It's insane, isn't it? Uh, but I really like his dedication towards his videos, and I really think he puts a lot of time into his videos. Jake Simpkin asks again, what camera do you have? Now, the camera I have uh, right now is the Lumix G7 because it is an insane camera for the price. It's about £600, it can do 4K, it's like a professional, you can use it as a professional camera if you want to. Uh, it's really easy to use while at the same time taking professional video and the lens that comes with it is really high quality. Like, uh, I looked up online how much the kit lens is and it's like £200 just for the kit lens, 
which is a 14 to 42 millimeter lens and it's micro four thirds camera um, and it's a lot better than expected in low light I must say I'm pretty impressed with the low light performance like the little brother to the, or the little sister to the Lumix GH4, which some of you might know is the really insane camera. E Broad says, what is your favourite gun on Call of Duty? Now the Call of Duty that I play, I don't really play the modern ones, uh, because I don't want to invest in the modern ones, because I think it's a waste of money uh, just to buy the same concept as that I already have. So for example, I have... Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Call of Duty World at War, and a few other old ones like MW3, MW2, all the, all the pretty much old ones. Uh, so my favourite gun on Black Ops 2 is actually uh, the rifle shotgun that has like 10 bullets in it, you can go boom, 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 boom. It's like automa semi-automatic. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called because I haven't played Black Ops 2 in a very long time uh, because I don't play games that much. but. Um, I'll put the name on the text here if I, if, if I can remember. But uh, my favourite gun on Black Ops 1 is probably um, probably the Galil or something like that. The Galil. Uh, between the Galil and the AK-47U. Uh, with I like the AK-47U with the rapid fire upgrade and the fast reload. What is it? Dual mag, that's what it's called. Uh, between them two guns, I really like them two. And then my favourite gun in Call of Duty World at War oh, is probably the MP40 with a big mag, if that makes sense. It's like one of them big mag attachments that you can get for it in there. And sometimes I switch between the MP40 with the big mag and the MP40 with the sight that you can get, the big massive sight you can get for it. Trisha Penrose fan says, what historic event would you like to relive? Uh, that I don't know. I don't really have any historic events, but I would like to go back to Niagara Falls, if that class is a historic event, because it happened and it's an event that we went to, to, to Niagara Falls. I would like to go back, back there again and film a vlog there, because I'd get some insane shots. I, I, went, I went to there when I, before I even started YouTube, like a year before, and I really wish uh, I'd have gone like a year later again uh, to film that for the vlog and have, have just relive the experience again. What would you alter in our world and why? Homework, get rid of it. And also uh, in our school I would have liked to take like film studies or something like that but they said they were going to do it but they cancelled it completely. It, like, is it like media studies, that's it? But they said they were going to do it, but they never did it, so I'd like to alter that uh, as well, uh, to put that into our back into our school. If you could change anything in any movie, what would it be? How would it, how would it change the movie and why? I don't know if this class is a movie, it's like an interactive movie, movie but you know the Walking Dead game series? That's like an interactive movie, isn't it? Pretty much. That's what it classes as, it's a game, but it's a movie at the same time, it's interactive. And it probably not, probably make sure Lee doesn't die. Uh, I'll go I'll go to Lee and say, No! Stop! Don't walk that way. The zombie will jump out at you and bite your head off. No, it, he'll bite his hand, like he does. And uh, Lee would survive, I'd make sure Lee would survive uh, through all of the series, because Lee in that game is, well, movie game interactive thing. Uh, is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I really like how he acts on there and uh, he's a really good actor, the person who plays him and and uh, he's a good character in the game, a really nice one so I'm, I'm sure everyone would agree with me that he's a really good character and he should stay in the game and no one and, and he, no one should kill him or anything like that and he should just stay in the game. Anyway, that's all of the questions. I really do hope you have enjoyed today's Q&A. If you did, a like rating would much be appreciated. And if you have any questions for the next Q&A, uh, I might do it with my friend, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we should do something like that, or where I bring another person into the Q&A and they answer the questions as well as just me. Uh, be sure to uh, leave a comment down in the comment section and we might, be, we might uh, answer your 
question in the next Q&A. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. A like rating would much be appreciated. And I'll see you all in my next vlog. Bye!